guys, so we have an urgent information coming out when it comes to signs of the heavens. Now it says here, an asteroid the size of a skyscraper is approaching Earth at a sprightly 24,136 miles per hour and will be at its closest to us in two days. Now the space rock dubbed 2025 FA-22 is a sizable 520 feet across. On a cosmic scale, it will come close to Earth, getting to within 523,000 miles of our home. So it's not going to hit us, but we are definitely seeing signs of the heavens. You guys already know interstellar is not too far away. All right, so we're going to see what's going on with this one here, guys. Once again, we are definitely seeing a lot of things happening in the world that's related to Bible prophecy, nation against nation, wars, famines, and earthquakes, and all these space rocks that's getting closer and closer to our planets. For those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday Florida 34691. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, we do have the Cash App link and the PayPal link in the comments box and also the description box. Thank you again for your support. It says here for the context, the present distance between Earth and the Moon is around 239,000 miles. All right, so we could see the moon, right? So the moon is 239,000 miles. But uh, here's the thing. The moon is a lot bigger than this space rock here. So this space rock is going to be 523,000 um, miles away from our planet. So it's double the miles from Earth and the moon distance. All right, so the asteroid are rocky remnants from the early formation of the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. <sighs> okay, so once again, the asteroid are rocky remnants from the early creation in the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The heavens, multiple heavens, multiple space, universe, you name it. The heavens. And then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that it was good. All right. And in verse 4, we're going to skip multiple verses. Uh, God created more light. Yeah, he's, crea he's creating a lot of it. He created the, uh, the, the sun, which is the brighter light, the greater light to govern the day. And he also created the moon, the lesser light. To govern the night. God said let them be for signs. And seasons. He also created the stars. So again. In the beginning God did create the heaven and the earth. And there was many. Many. Um, other. Amazing. Things that God created. In the heavens element. Which is the universe. Uh, they can vary massively in size. One of the largest known as Vesta is around a whopping 329 miles in diameter. Now it says here, NASA's asteroid watch tracks asteroids projected to come within 4.6 million miles to Earth. Any object larger than 492 feet, that's 150 meters within this distance, is deemed a potential hazardous object. 492 feet. Now, there's a, another space rock that's supposed to be coming uh, April 29th, Friday the 13th. All right. And they call it, uh, oh man, what's the name of the asteroid? Uh, Apophis. All right. Apophis. Uh, I think uh, in the Egyptian is called the God of Chaos. That's, I don't know why they picked that name, but uh, again, Apophis is going to be, I think, 19,000 miles away from Earth. 19,000 miles away from Earth. 
this rock is going to be 529,000 miles away from Earth. But Apophis is going to be 19,000 miles. The moon is 239,000 miles away. And we can see the moon. Just imagine Apophis is going to be right in front of us. I mean, looking up and seeing Apophis just passing by. And we are praying, please don't enter the Earth atmosphere, man. <laughs> so <laughs> once it enters the Earth atmosphere, it, it lights up like a match. And then that's when it comes in at full speed. Um, it says here, and while the skyscraper sized 2025 FA-22 is the biggest visitor to our backyard this week, it's far from the only thing coming relatively close to Earth in the coming days. On September the 16th alone, an asteroid measuring 77 feet will come within 126,000 miles of our planet, and a 45-foot 40, asteroid will pass within 698,000 miles. Man, there's going to be a lot of near-Earth objects. I was not aware of all these uh, asteroids uh, coming closer to Earth. Hmm. It says here, on the same date, an asteroid the size of an airplane, a whopping 160 feet, is also due to come within 990,000 miles of Earth. September 18, the same date as the building-sized asteroid would pass close to Earth. With we'll also see a 41-foot asteroid coming within 634,000 feet of the planet. Wow, there's going to be a lot of these uh, near-Earth object asteroid. Man, September is busy. They are currently... That's a big number. That is a big number. Again, they are currently 1,362,002 known asteroid and the solar system, according to NASA. <sighs> That's a lot, man. That, man, that is a lot. They're currently 1,362,002 known asteroid in the solar system, according to NASA. Man. The stars will fall from the heavens. Outer space is filled with asteroid. Yep, they call it outer space. The Bible says the heavens elements. That's what Peter says. The heavens, uh, heavens elements. The planets, the elements. On um, again, it's just incredible. Um, outer space is just beautiful. It's amazing. It's 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 a living clock. That's what it is. The the planet is spinning. The sun is burning. Uh, we are breathing. I mean, we are seeing, uh, again, living uh, elements. Outer space is filled with asteroids. And any that appear to be in danger of approaching Earth is tracked by NASA. With the Center for Near-Earth Objects Studies computing their odds of impact. Now, it says here... One famous asteroid name, ah, oh, we just mentioned this, Apophis, is due to pass close by in April 29, Friday the 13th. Crazy, crazy day. But upon its discovery in 2004, initial calculation indicated a possibility it would hit our planet. The asteroid Apophis is now predicted to safely pass around, oh, so it changed, 23,000. 180 miles from the planet's surface on April, Friday the 13th. How big is Apophis? Give me a second here. Um, it 
Give me a second here, guys. Ooh. I'm like, it's Apophis the size of the Statue of Liberty. And you guys know the Statue of Liberty is pretty big. <laughs> it says here... Oh, asteroid that could be three times as tall. Statue of Liberty, man. <laughs> Is the Apophis the size of Statue of Liberty? No. The asteroid Apophis is significantly larger than the Statue of Liberty. Apophis is about 335 meters. That's 1,100 feet in its longest dimension, making it roughly the size of an NFL football field and taller than the Empire State Building. <sighs> Stop there for a second. You know how big is a football field? You know how big is a football field? And you know how tall is an Empire State Building? This thing is a monster. Apophis. Give me a second here. Um, so if it were to hit us, Asteroid Apophis cannot destroy planet Earth. And NASA is confident there is no risk of impacting Earth for at least 100 years. While an impact, uh, impact will be a catastrophic regional event, vaporizing land and releasing immense energy, it will not cause the destruction of the entire planet according to the Hudson Institute all right so It says here, an impact from the asteroid Apophis would take out tens of millions, tens of millions, if it struck a populated land area with a number told depending, depending heavily on the impact location and whether it creates a tsunami. If it hits a city, the blast heat and resulting debris could take out tens of tens or hundreds of thousands initially with millions more passing from the shock wave an ocean impact would be less devastating <laughs> so, i don't know guys i think the ocean impact would be a lot worse it will be a lot worse for me i don't know if you guys seen the movie deep impact uh when that uh space rock hit the ocean it literally just um I mean, I mean, people were running to higher mountains. Um, once again, and resulting, it says here, uh, with many more passing in the shockwave, an ocean impact would be less devastating overall, but could still cause massive tsunami affecting coastal cities, potentially taking millions along coastline. Man. So we don't have to worry about Apophis. That's and like, what again? What is that? Four years now? Yeah, four years, right? Or th like three and a half years, something like that, or four years. But um, again, um, the space rock. Uh, again, the Bible does speak about them. Uh, when it comes to the heavens elements. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna end it here. So this this uh, space rock that's heading towards us in in the next two. Or three days it's not gonna hit planet earth but it's very important to bring this up give you guys the signs of the heavens along with nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom we are definitely seeing bible prophecy here and we cannot forget about the interstellar out there that's heading towards earth all right well it's not 
heading towards us is going to be 300 million miles away. But according to scientist Loeb, this interstellar is going to release mini probes, mini UFO, and they're going to come and attack Earth. According to scientist Mr. Loeb, all right, uh, I believe the man really needs to read scriptures. All right, uh, it's, it's changing colors now. Here's the reason why that Interstellar 3i slash Atlas is changing colors. I believe there's a possibility that this space rock could be some kind of diamond or precious metal, possibly gold and stuff. And when it gets closer to Earth, it just reflecting. It's reflecting. It's like uh, it's like some kind of a. It's like a soda can, right? Like a soda can just in the ocean, right? And then the sun hit it, and then you're out there fishing, and you see, like, something shining. You're like, man, what is that? It's a sun reflection hitting um, metallic metal. So I do believe that this asteroid, Interstellar Atlas, I do believe that it's a possibility. This thing might be diamonds or something, um, which could be the most valuable space rock ever to be recorded in human history. This thing could be worth the craziest amount of money. And uh, I do believe that you know, it could be some kind of precious metal or something, uh, metallic iron and stuff like that. I don't think it's UFO, but we're gonna find out sooner or later once it passes uh, Mars and Jupiter, take the pictures of it, and we get to see what the uh, space rock is all about. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time later. Peace.